Hello there, IBC Bond. Thanks for joining us in this next video of, as we talk about what we believe. In this one, we'll be addressing the final uh, section, the final paragraph in our doctrinal statement. In this one, we'll be addressing the important question of what do we believe about the future? What do we believe about future things? What will happen at the end? What do we believe the Bible tells us will happen at the end of this age? Well, we await. We are waiting right now. We await the glorious and physical return of Jesus to recreate heaven and earth and fully establish his kingdom here on earth. We believe that, that Jesus is reigning, that he is ruling from, from heaven. We do believe that the kingdom is wherever he, Christ has, has reign, wherever he has authority. Uh, but we are still waiting for the, the final glorious return of, of Christ. And he will do that in physical form. He will return uh, not as a spirit being, not as uh, something phantom, but he will return in, uh, in his resurrected body. He will return and recreate uh, heaven and earth. It will be, as Revelation says, a new heaven and a new earth. And his kingdom will be here on earth. And that's what we uh, mean when we talk about heaven. It is, it is Christ's kingdom. It is the new heaven and the new earth. Uh, not in some other dimension, but here in the recreated heaven and earth. We believe that uh, the resurrection will come. We await the resurrection of the dead and the final judgment of all humanity. All the dead... Uh, those who died in Christ, those who died without Christ, those who uh, are living when Christ returns, and those who have, have died uh, when he returns. There will be a resurrection of the dead, and there will be judgment. All will be judged. Uh, those who are in Christ, so we await, as his church, we await the eternal joy in the new heaven and new earth for all who are in Christ uh, those are those who we see around us and those who have died in Christ in, in centuries uh, gone by. We are all awaiting the resurrection of the dead and the judgment uh, that will um, affirm the righteousness of those who are in Christ. And they will be uh, invited into the kingdom because their names are written in the Lamb's book of life. And they will enjoy uh, the presence of God. They will live a life uh, without sin, unable to sin. The Bible says that, that death and sin have been defeated uh, at the cross and at, at Easter Sunday, at Christ's resurrection. But one day, uh, death, our final enemy, will be cast into uh, the pit. It will be cast into judgment and they will have uh, sin and death will have no power, no authority over those who are in Christ. They will live eternally in enjoying God's presence, enjoying his goodness, enjoying the fellowship of the saints without any sin, without any memory of sin, without the, even the ability to sin. It will be a glorious day. It will be a glorious uh, joy. It will, it will be unbelievable as we enjoy our Lord forever. We also await, unfortunately, the, the endless suffering in hell of those who do not place their faith in Christ. This is the other side that, that sin has uh, consequences and it separates us from God. And God, as a righteous God, cannot uh, inhabit the same space uh, with sin forever. He, he has endured patiently with, uh, sin, with uh, our sinful race. But sin will be judged. All sinners who die outside of Christ will uh, experience the, the judgment of God. And God will be glorified uh, in their judgment the, those who, who do not put their faith in him will be outside the kingdom. The Bible uses many different uh, pictures to describe uh, this. It, it talks about a lake of fire. It talks about a, a pit. It talks about uh, darkness. 
the the real judgment is that separation from God. There's no uh, restraint on sin anymore. It is a place of, of hatred. It is a place of anger. It is a place of unlimited sin. It's a, a horrifying um, it's a horrifying reality. It is a horrifying reality. This is what we are waiting for. We are waiting for his return. We are waiting for the joy of, of being with Christ forever. This is why we, we share the gospel. This is why we invite people into God's kingdom to enjoy Christ, to magnify Christ they will do it. All of humanity will, will bring glory to God, either through eternal praise or through eternal judgment. These are some of the passages you can turn to if you're interested. I encourage you to go to them to learn more about where we get these, uh, these beliefs about the end, the future things. I want to thank you for joining me in this video. I want to encourage you in this journey. Um, continue to investigate what we believe. Continue to investigate scripture. I know you'll be blessed.